My name is Wendy Johnstone and I've been serving here in South America East for six years. I served three years as the Territory Youth and Candidate Secretary. This gave me an opportunity to travel and really know the territory, uh, learn the language and um, I'm really grateful for those years. I served one year as the Territorial Program Secretary and then I have served now for two years as the Territorial Personnel Secretary. Basically the appointments found me. Um, I had no idea that I would, I always felt that every officer, I, this was a theory and it's an easy theory when you're living at home and enjoying all the benefits as a Canadian officer. I had a theory that every one of us should spend at least one term of service in an international appointment. But no one ever asked me. My standard answer was if the Army asked me to go, I will go. Um, no one ever asked me and so I stayed at home and served and, and um, was fulfilled in, in my appointments and I was very grateful for, for those things and the work that the Lord was doing in my own life. And then one day they asked and asked if I could go to England. I went to England. While I was in England they asked if I would go to South America and I came to South America. I'll call it later in life, not late in life, but a little later in life. Started to learn the language and um, the Lord has done really amazing things for me in the middle of all of that. I've taken a, I don't know if you'd call it a philosophy, but it's certainly a choice to live where I live. So as much as I'm possible, I still like the comforts from home. And if anybody wants to bring me Miracle Whip or peanut butter, I'm delighted. Um, but for the most part, I live where I am and um, try not to convert the, the money so I know how much I'm, I'm missing from home, that kind of thing. I just try and live here and, and with the lifestyle, with the people, get to know them, become a part of, of the culture and a part of, of who they are. And, uh, and so that's been, that's been my experience. So do I find the separation? I miss it very much. My family and my friends at home, but at the same time, um, I am very, very content that I'm where the Lord has, has placed me. One thing at home was having come up through, you know, this division and that division and this appointment at territorial headquarters, etc., is people knew who I was. One of the things I felt very much when I came here was, apart from maybe a dozen people who I'd met through different conferences and different interactions through international headquarters, no one knew who I was, what I could do, what I was capable of, not capable of. They didn't know my strengths and weaknesses. They didn't know how I was going to react to them. Um, I was an unknown. It's important for me, for Canada and Bermuda, to share their officers with the world and to have other officers in Canada and Bermuda for the exchange of culture, experience, and the enrichment that that brings to our lives, personal lives, spiritually, and to our officership and to our ministry and the mission of the Salvation Army. Thank you to the Canada and Bermuda Territory for the opportunity to serve. Thank you for keeping me in your prayers and uh, for all of the support.